how do we have an entire system developed and designed to store excess fat as body fat if eating excess fat isn't going to go to body fat? Hey, what's going on, guys? Coach Bronson here. And today we're going to talk about one of the, you know what, probably the biggest misconception, myth, and factually inaccurate little bit of information that I've been hearing way more often or a lot more frequently in the past couple months that is causing a lot of people to not reach the goals that they're being told this is going to help them reach. Before we get into that, please subscribe to this uh, channel. If you haven't subscribed to me already, um, do so, right? Like I just said, click the bell so you're notified every time I come out with a new video. There's at least two a week. Most importantly, share this information with someone you think it may help. A lot of people are coming from a lot of different areas, a lot of different backgrounds. Everyone's trying to get somewhere to improve their life. And there's a lot of information that is getting people, like today's topic, that is getting people set in the wrong direction and making them waste time, making them lose time and lose progress and get frustrated. This is this one specific thing is getting a lot of people to the point where they, they are ready to quit the entire thought process of being keto carnivore or where they're really getting frustrated with influencers and people in general because they feel like they're being lied to. These are words that I'm hearing from people that I'm working with. People that contact me on a regular basis saying, here's what I'm being told by this person or this group or this program. I've been doing it for a year, six months, two years, four years, five years. It hasn't been, I'm not getting where I want to go. I need help. Help me figure out what to do. And this is the number one thing that's getting in their way. Okay, you guys ready for it? You can't overeat fat. Anybody that is telling you you cannot overeat fat is being, I don't even know what they're being. I can't speak to what they're being. I can tell you that th that them telling you that is 100% factually wrong, okay? Overeating fat and, and the idea of you can't overeat fat in the context of eating fat is not going to add to your body fat is one of the most asinine things I've ever heard anybody say. One of the major systems of our body, the major metabolic functions we have in our body is the storage of excess fat into adipose tissue. It is a huge part of our metabolic function. How do we have an entire system developed and designed to store excess fat as body fat if eating excess fat isn't going to go to body fat. Please, somebody explain that to me, okay? The realistic, in-your-face, real-time, something I see every single day, I've seen it in myself, I've seen it in hundreds of thousands, not hundreds of thousands, hundreds and thousands of people that I've worked with, that I know other people have worked with, that Coach Nat has worked with, that peers of mine and colleagues of mine have worked with, that I see on social media responding and asking questions and have for the past 10 years. People that are real people, people that every day are trying to do things to improve their lives. And if they overconsume fat, they gain body fat. That's how it works. If you eat more fat mass than your body needs to utilize to maintain metabolic function, whether that be for any of the metabolic systems that fat supports or for energy, whether it's for hormone production or cell structure or any of the other things that fat is used for, then that's part of the use of fat. A majority, a lot of fat goes towards fuel. If you have excess fat that your body is not using, it will get stored as fuel. Okay. There is a couple scenarios, a couple of scenarios. And this is where the information web gets woven and, mis and misunderstood and in improperly, I'll say improperly explained and people get confused. Bile, the amount of fat that you can eat in a single meal can be limited by your bile quantity. How much bile do you have available? Okay. Bile is instrumental in helping your body digest fat. When you run out of bile, it becomes much harder to eat fat. You get to a point where you're just like, I'm done. I'm not happening. It's not happening. I'm done. I'm not eating anymore. Okay, great. Cool. Let's say 
here's a couple things I want you to think about when we talk about bile as a limiting factor. So the, the theory, theory, not fact, the theory is that bile is the limiting factor on your ability to overeat fat and gain body fat. That's the message that's being put out. You can't overeat fat because bile, the, the amount of available bile won't allow it. There's some gaps in that logic. Here's a couple of them. Number one, 60 grams of fat on average depletes around 50% of your gallbladder's bile quantity. So if you eat around 60 grams of fat, you're going to utilize about 50% of the available bile in your gallbladder. Cool. That's awesome. Which maps to what we know somewhere between 100 and 120 grams of fat intake is about the maximum that most people can take before they get GI distress. Most people between 110, some people 120, you get that much in one single meal and you're not going to be feeling good for a while. You're going to be in the bathroom for a couple hours, maybe, right? Whatever that may be. Okay. In that context of a single meal, there is a limit on how much fat you can take before your body says, nope, I'm done. And it gets rid of whatever it didn't, could, couldn't use at that time. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Here's the problem. One meal. If you are eating 100 to 120 grams in one meal, then what are you doing the rest of the day? Are you not eating? If you're going to do only that, and that's and you're doing OMAD and you're only doing that. Now, here's a question. Here's another question. If you're doing OMAD, let's throw a scenario out here. If you're doing OMAD and you're trying to maximize your fat intake, you're eating meat, you're getting a crap ton of protein. Let's say you're doing one-to-one. -one. So you're getting a hundred and let's say, let's go with a hundred, a hundred grams of protein, a hundred grams of fat and a hundred grams of protein in that one meal. If that's maxing out your fat intake and you excrete some, how much are you excreting? Is it 20%? Is it 10%? Are you losing 20% of the fat that your body, we don't know because what does excess mean? All we're saying when we say that bile is a limiting factor is that we're eating more than the bile we have available. That may not be more than your body needs. It may not. It may be. We don't know. It's an unknown. We can't say that's anything that means anything. Can we? I don't know. You tell me. Let's think about this. Here's another scenario. If bile is completely empty, a couple of facts before we get into this other scenario. If, if I completely empty my gallbladder of bile and max out because I maxed out my fat intake, the gallbladder takes around an hour and a half to two hours, okay, to fill up again. Okay. Now let's say, let's give that three hours. Let's just say it's three hours. It takes three hours for your gallbladder to fill up. It takes three to four hours for your body to digest fat. So if you wanted to max out your fat intake in a meal, you could have another meal in six hours and max out your fat intake again. So now you have two meals in a day and you're getting 200 grams of fat. Is 200 grams of fat more or less than your body needs to add or lose body fat? I'm six feet tall. I weigh 195 pounds. I don't lose body fat at any less than 145 grams of fat per day. If I were to eat 200 grams of fat today at my body composition as a male who's 165 pounds of lean mass, if I eat 145 grams or more of fat a day, I will gain body fat. It happens. It has happened. And it always happens when I'm over that number. I know where that number is for me. Hey there, I wanted to let you know about my latest book, Body Confident, that's coming out in September 2024. Call it a critical thinking guide to your health journey because it is a framework, a guide, a blueprint that's gonna help you understand and be able to filter all the information that's out there on the internet that you're getting from social media, YouTube, go to bodyconfidentbook.com, sign up for updates, the book comes out in September. I am living proof to myself that increased fat intake over a certain threshold will add to my body fat. So think about that. One meal can be limited by bile. If you're eating three meals a day, 
Let's say you do three meals a day. Let's say you do 80 grams. You don't max out. I'm not going to max out it. I'm, I don't want to completely, I don't want to have that GI distress. I don't want to to eat till I'm so bloated and full and just stuffed that I, I feel like crap. But I do want to eat till I'm comfortably full. And I do want to make sure I get enough fat. Okay, so I'm only going to eat 75, 70, 80 grams of fat in a meal, right? Let's go with 70 because it's a smaller number, but it still equals to what? If I eat three meals a day, 210 grams of fat, that's no good, right? Even if I'm doing 50 grams of fat a day or a meal, think about this, guys, 50 grams of fat a day. For me, if I did three meals a day, at 50 grams of fat per meal, I would gain weight. And I'm halfway through my bile storage. Not even close to max of my bile. Play around with the math, guys. If you have, and just use 100 to make it simple. Don't go 110 or 120 as far as the max bile, right? Just go with 100. If you have 100 grams of fat that you can eat in one meal before your body shuts down or stops accepting it, let's call it that. And then every three to four hours, you could eat another meal of 100. Where would you be? How low does that number have to be per meal? How many meals per day do you need to be at? Play with those configurations. Is it four meals a day at, at 25? I have a lot of women who need around 100 grams of fat to maintain, maybe even lose a little bit. If they're over 100, they start to gain weight, right? So maybe that's three meals at 35-ish grams of fat per day. Maybe that's four meals at 25. Maybe if you're like me and you're at, like if I'm at 130, then I start to lose weight. If I'm at 135, then I lose a little bit of body fat. I wanna stay right around there. So maybe I'm at three meals a day at about 45 grams of fat per meal, right? So play around those numbers. Think about that, guys. Bile is not a limiting factor in your body's ability to absorb, utilize, and store fat if there is excess, okay? It is 100% possible. It is 100% part of our metabolic and biological makeup to store fat if there is more than your body needs, period, okay? Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Take it easy. Hey there, did you know that I have a free community on Discord? If you go to discord.coachbronson.com, you can join my community, you can meet other people, you can engage in a group of individuals who are all searching for and having success in finding their context and the solutions that will work best for them. Hop yourself in there, discord.coachbronson.com. See you soon.